Hi you guys, welcome back. Well today I'm going to show you how I replaced my Apollo bobbin case. Someone had requested and wanted to know how I replaced it. Well here's a short video that's going to save you at least 100 bucks plus 30 bucks for a part. Well, I was working on a project and as I was sewing, all of a sudden I heard this snap. The first thing I thought was, oh no, this is going to cost me another hundred bucks. I heard something break on the inside in the bobbin area. I thought something happened to the bobbin itself and I thought I broke a needle. But as I looked at the needle and the bobbin, they were fine. That's when I started to get nervous because that's about the extent of any repair I've done in the bobbin area. Then I found out that my bobbin case was broken. I had no idea how to remove it. So after looking at some manuals, nothing told me how I could fix it, but I had to figure it out myself. So this is what I learned. The first thing you're going to do is obviously unplug your machine. Next, lower your feed dogs. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this plastic plate. Once you remove the plastic plate, we're going to remove this metal cover here. What you're going to do is you're going to move it left to right. On the right side, you're going to lift up. As you can see here, my feed dogs are up, so it's going to be a hassle for me to get this out. But in your case, just lower them and it should come out a lot easier. Now that we got that out of the way, go ahead and let's remove our bobbin. Okay, at this point, go ahead and remove any broken pieces if you can. If the bobbin case can come out, go ahead and remove it. But for some reason, if you can't take it out, you're going to have to move this lever out of the way. It's spring-loaded, as you can see. As you can see, there's an oval slot there on that arm. You can stick a small screwdriver and turn it. It should move out of the way. I just grabbed a seam ripper to move it out of the way. Okay, now that you move this lever out of the way, Go ahead and remove your broken bobbin case. Now that you remove the broken bobbin case, you can see the part or the area where it broke off. One of the fingers there. Here's the old one. And here's the new one. By the way, these bobbin cases are called Apollo bobbin case. Notice there's a lip or a rim here. That's where the bobbin case is going to fit in. Make sure it seats right at that little ledge there. That's very important. Okay, now we're ready to replace our bobbin casing. All you have to do is make sure that those two forks go away from you towards the needle or towards the back. Again, just make sure that the bobbin casing fits in the screw. Let go of the lever and it's locked in. Now we're ready to put our metal plate back. Once you got that in, go ahead and put your bobbin in with some thread and go ahead and snap in the plastic cover. And you're done. All you have to do now is just run a test sample. I think we're done with patient. It'll be just fine now. All he needs is a few thousand yards pushed through it. <laughs> anyway, I hope this video helped you and I surely hope it saved you a hundred bucks. Again, don't be afraid. As you can see, it took very little tools. As of today, I found a part on eBay that you can order that's pretty cheap. Looks like it has free shipping. By the way, I don't get any compensation for any of this, just so you know. If you're a little afraid or a little intimidated to do this, then I suggest take it to your local repair guy and have him work on it. But if you're like me, and not afraid, go ahead and go for it and save yourself some money. All right, again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out my other how-to videos. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell. That way you can see my latest video. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you at my next video. Until then, bye.